Please be seated. The Bible says the B part of 2 Chronicles 2020. In fact, let's look at John chapter 11 first. John 11 verse 40. I just want to challenge us in the area of believing. God wants to do a quick work tonight. But I don't want us to just come and waste our time. John 11 and verse 40. And waste our time tonight and then not receive something. You know, I made a vow before God. And every time I continue to vow it that... I, I keep saying, Lord, anoint me to a point that nobody needs to encounter me two times to be changed. Just once. It's okay. That once. Once. That if you ever travel from anywhere and come here tonight, that even before the meeting, you just begin to rejoice. Because you know that if it is God that brought you here, except even if it's a Habali shrine, you won't come and go back the same. Are we together? I'm a student in the school of the anointing. I have been studying this all my life, but it's amazing, amazing, the dimensions and the possibilities that are surrounded in this mystery called the anointing. I repeat, you are not a blessing if you are not anointed. If you're a man of God here, please find a way of crying to God that he should put something definite upon your head. Otherwise, lock your church or lock any uh, out, outlet or what because you are totally wasting God's people's time if you are not anointed. It takes more than good intention to bless people. There is something from the realm of the spirit that must come upon people that you are in this meeting now and you know, not that after the grace you are just believing that, oh, let's see what happens. No, you can know that this one, I know that the anointing to solve my problem is this. You can know. You can know. It's true. A man doesn't have to tell you he's rich before you say he's rich. As he's talking, you look at him. That's how it is with the anointing. You can know you are in the place where the anointing to solve your problem is there. And Jesus said unto her, Say yet I not unto thee, listen, that if thou wouldest believe, he says, thou shouldest see the glory of God. Have I not said to you that if you believe, you will see? That if you believe, you will see. There is a relationship between your faith and your experience. Listen very carefully. It's just an exhortation tonight. That if you believe, you will see. That means whether you see the glory of God or not, it is still there. Hmm. Whether you receive the breakthrough or not, the breakthrough is there. Whether it will be featured in your life is a different thing altogether. Are we together now? Whether you have a car or not, there, there are still cars. In, in a showroom now as we talk is that true whether you you have a house or not there are still houses empty and available so it's one thing for that reality to be available but it's another thing for that reality to become your experience are we together everything we so desire brothers and sisters is available in christ it's a reality in the realm of the spirit but there are systems in the kingdom that can capture that reality and make it your experience here and now. That reality does not bless you for as long as it remains in the realm of the spirit. Your prayer and your desire is that the word becomes flesh so that it dwells among us. Then we can behold the glory. For as long as it is still in the realm of the spirit, it doesn't profit you. What good is it if you keep having dreams and see yourself rising? And then it never manifests. Open doors in the dreams. Close doors in your experience. Lifting in the spirit or whatever visions you're having. But in the physical, nothing seems to happen. The Bible says, if thou wouldest believe. You would think this is a very little expression. 
if you will believe truly it says you will see my god that means i can stand here desiring a lot of things in my life and god is saying all those things that look far you can the word see here does not just mean view it uh -uh. it means capture it let it be your experience if you will believe believe and second chronicles chapter 20 and verse 20 guides us on the dimensions of believing second chronicles 2020 and here's what he says jehoshaphat stood and said hear me o judah and ye inhabitants of jerusalem two believings here the first belief notice is a big b believe in the lord your god that's the first dimension of your believing believe in the lord your god to believe in the lord does not just mean to agree that he's alive mm -mm. To believe in the Lord your God, number one, means to be convinced and convicted about who God really is and what he is able to do. You don't just sit down and casually believe. Believe is a product of, of a contemplation that happens in your spirit. By the way, let me advise you, for a very long time, we preachers have been telling people that believing just happens in your spirit believing must happen in your spirit your mind and your body the entire tripartite nature of man is involved in believing i guarantee you believe alone with your spirit you will never get anything your mind needs to get to that state too your body needs to participate it's a well-meaning teaching but it's not a complete teaching you believe god spirit soul and body because your entire tripartite nature has a role to play in the manifestation of the promises of god for you believe in the lord your god notice it didn't say believe in jesus in fact it didn't say believe in god believe in the lord when the bible uses the word lord is a very interesting expression because the, the word lord there means is, is from the word adon it means master it means owner it means manipulator are we together yes believe in the lord your god get to a point by the spirit where you are convinced that he's not scamming you get to a point where you are convinced it's a point of unbendable persuasion that you believe that if God says he's going to change my family, truly he will. It's amazing how many action movies we act in church. You will think we really believe God, but we don't. Some of you as you are seated right now, if I ask you, do you believe God can change your life? You will say yes. Just because your head was nodding up and down doesn't mean you believe. Are we together now? It's a revelation. Man of God, do you believe in the anointing? Yes, I believe. But it's not true because it's not showing. The Bible says if you believe, you will see. That means if you are not seeing, there is something wrong with that believing. Are you getting what I'm saying? You have to find a way of believing this. Conviction. Conviction that the Spirit brings that you have gotten to a point of unbendable persuasion that everything God has said concerning my life now regardless of whether that experience listen you don't believe it when it manifests it should be obvious when it manifests you believe it to make it happen not because it has happened it is your faith that will transport that reality from the realm of the spirit I sit down and just tell you, oh, someone is going to shout for instance under the anointing. That's a stupid thing. What if it doesn't happen? So what is the, what, what gives that audacity? It's suicidal for a man of God. Your, your reputation and your ministry is at stake. You don't get up and just start speaking and saying things and talking nonsense. I hope you know if it doesn't happen, people will say, you see, this is how proud people end. But there is a level of conviction. 
conviction. Are we together now? If I tell you, Sam, to walk and come to me, it is because you trust your legs. Are we together? If I ask someone on a wheelchair to stand up and walk to me, that person does not trust his legs yet because of the obvious situation. So he won't stand up and he would try. But if I ask you to come now, you are not, you don't have any experience with your legs that should disturb you. You must get to that point of persuasion. You see, God is not a politician. God was not voted into power. It's not like there is somebody that supervises him in heaven. He does not have a disciplinarian. Nobody rebukes him. Listen carefully. We are talking about the God of the universe. We are not talking about the God of Christians. We are talking about the God of all flesh. God is not a Christian. He is the father of lights. The owner, it belongs to him. God will not come on earth and go to the camp of Christians. The whole earth is his own. Whether you believe in him or not, you face the consequence of fighting the creator. But he is the God of all flesh. Has thou not heard? Has thou not seen? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth. He doesn't sleep. He doesn't get tired. doesn't get weary. So when that God looks at you, with the same power of creation and says i want to change your life then we now sit down and say oh god that's exactly what my director told me and god said you have brought me in the same category with your director who is only 45 years old you know how old i am go and find out if age gives ability god still qualifies to be god even if it's just by age Let's assume that the older you are, the more powerful you are. God is still God by that reference. Believe in the Lord your God. Believe in the Lord your God. Believe in the Lord your God. Get to a point of persuasion and say, Lord, based on my calculation, it will take five years for my family to get this miracle. But there's something I know about you. That when you decide to rend the heavens and step over a man's situation, one month becomes too much. You see, listen, as you are hearing what I'm saying, you are saying amen. But something within me is saying, you are not apostle. Don't make a fool out of yourself. Are we together now? If a Jimmy is a landlord of an estate and you are trusting God to save 30 million to buy a house and he looks at you, and assuming you didn't know he was a landlord, he just says, Kai, I want to bless you. And someone just whispers to you and says, that's the landlord. The awareness that he's a landlord does something. He says, ah, sir, good afternoon. I, I'm not even, because you are aware. Something just opened you up to the potentials in him that he can compress a 10 years journey in a moment. This is the God I serve. The Bible says the word of God is quick. Shout quick not slow it may look slow until god decides to shake himself and say now let me lift kenny now let me lift this and you are surprised even you the benefactor there are sides to the equation of greatness no man can explain it's a mystery you just know i prayed i did this from a to b to c i don't know what happened there i just know that a finger manipulated this are we together believe in the lord many believers don't believe god many believers it has to be in this order believe in the lord your god believe what about him believe that he is god you can believe he's a deity that's not the information required for your greatness you can believe that he's not a man satan too is not a man many other spirits too are not men so there's nothing special about believing that he's not a man. You must believe that he's the mighty God. And you must believe in his ability. I, I don't know how to make you see this. Look, let me tell you, when you focus on God and who he is and his might, you will turn back and see the possibility of your situation shrinking before him. 
and then you will be brought to a point where you will agree lord you can change my life i believe lord you can wipe my tears there are many faithless people just because they are holding their bibles and speaking what is written there they think they believe no it's a conviction lord i trust you lord i believe you that's why he left us the word of god to help us believe him the word of god is a commitment from god to you is 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 a manifesto is to give you room to vet him that means if you have any fears as to why you should not believe him he still leaves the word are we together believe in the lord your god by doing so you shall be established so he says be convinced and convicted about who God is and what he is able to do. 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 2 says, But I know whom I have believed. He says, I am persuaded that he is able. I am persuaded that he is able. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 says, For without faith it is impossible to please God. Listen. He says, for he that cometh to God, like you have come now, he says, you must come believing that he exists and then that he is a rewarder. Let me see how many of you came from far. If you came from far, let me see your hands. How many of you honestly had quite a stressful journey coming? Now, do you think, please drop your hands, thank you. Do you think that God will watch you live wherever you heard the, someone came from Ghana someone came from Maiduguri so within and outside this nation people coming there are many people connecting from around the world do you believe if you were God will you sit on your throne and watch someone almost have an accident and for 12 hours come and sit down some of you have been here probably since 12 in the afternoon or two or three and then as God you sit down and then say okay share the grace may God bless you I don't know the God you gave your life to but the one I gave my life to is a serious God it's a very serious God we are used to people playing games with our lives God is not just a trustworthy God he is too serious that he gave his son to die and then he will play games with your life no sir he's a rewarder he's a rewarder let me tell you something you've heard me say it if you ever find yourself coming here to koinonia that you arrive here safely alone is a sign that half of your challenges have gone um, now uh, you would think i'm saying it just because i'm the man of god here you decide to come here and see the attacks that will arise money that you are saving will disappear all of a sudden up every to some of you the morning to come you are not even yet sure whether you will come is a spirit believe in the lord your god believe in the lord your god believe in the lord your god sister believe in the lord your god my brother believe in the lord your god concerning your admission believe in the lord your god concerning the baby i know it's five years but believe in the lord your god believe concerning god turning your life around you need more than a job you need breakthrough you need favor if you get a job of fifty thousand, you are still backward because you should have been working for the past 10 years so now the issue is not just a job of 50 or 100 thousand that god can you shift my what would have been the backlog of the past shift my 10 years to enter my september and wait for me there that i can enter september and I, it will look as if september is 10 years put together one of the greatest ways breakthrough comes is the manipulation of time read your bible and see what god did with time when it was time to visit people he made the sun to stand still he made the sun to go backward are we together he did something to time 
when you lose time you have lost everything believe in the Lord your God number two please let's go back to um, second Chronicles he said believe in his prophets listen carefully his prophets here doesn't just mean someone that prophesies his prophets here doesn't even mean someone who is not fake that means someone who is real that's not what he's talking about he said believe his prophets so shall ye prosper to prosper means to do well he says believe his prophets his prophets are not just people who prophesy his prophets are not just real men of God <clears throat> listen carefully this is where we miss it you must learn this his prophets here are not just men who are doing the biddings of god it has nothing to do with maybe someone being real his prophets here means the person sent to you listen listen the bible um come sam come darling look at this i'm elijah and i'm going to the house of a widow of Zarephath. Are we together? Don't you think on my way going, I'm going to meet other people who have problems? So I meet a gentleman who has a problem and I just greet him. How are you? Where is the house of the widow of Zarephath? He's shaking me but doesn't receive anything because I'm not sent to him. I'm a prophet. I probably met other widows. Elijah probably met other widows lamenting and he said, Oh dear, you mean it? You mean this how your life is sorry eh and he kept going the same way jesus saw 10 lepers the same way jesus would see people and touch one and stand up and go there is a man sent to you there is an anointing sent to you listen i know that many people would not like me for what i'm telling you not every anointing can bless you generally speaking by opening your heart i mean at the anointing a portion to change your destiny it's true hear what i'm telling you and then god will bless you there is an anointing a portion there is a grace designated let me tell you happy are you the day you come into the environment where the anointing that was sent for you do you know let me tell you this and i tell you this honestly my heart is passionate when it has to do with blessing people but i have met people in my life that i just prayed for them just for praying sake but i knew in my spirit i wasn't sent to them of course you won't tell them so they don't feel bad but you know but i've seen others I couldn't even wait for them to share their challenges because I know, I know. The anointing sent to you. So believe his prophets. Are we together? There were many widows in Zarephath. Elijah was looking for just one. Habba prophet. What of other women? <clears throat> I love them. I can pray, I can intercede. May God bless you. Do A, B, and C. But I'm looking for a woman of Zarephath. Where is she? Finally, you find her. And his clear she's not even ready for you. She's doing something else. The prophet would have been angry to say, I spent time to come here. You don't even know what you are missing. I'm on my way going. But because he was sent, he had to stay. His assignment was to change her life. When you find the anointing, and the prophet that God has sent over your life and your situation, let me tell you, you will watch that anointing rubbish your situation in the, as if Satan does not exist. It's, it's not just, this is where we have a little challenge with many believers who just say, the most important thing is God. Yes, you are right, but you are wrong. The most anointing is anointing. What is there? What is so special about this man of God? This is what I'm teaching you now people are sent to people even the word of god is sent he sent his word like a messenger meaning until that word is sent you can stay there but when the word comes like a messenger angel gabriel 
left other believers around earth and was directed to one person daniel all that fight for 21 days in the heavenlies he would have been angry to say i'm going to someone else mm -mm. he said daniel i am come to give you understanding are you the only one i am come to give you understanding jesus is appearing by the road saul is on his way to damascus brothers and sisters the bible says there were other people with saul god would have been fair enough to at least give them something and then he isolates one person and discusses with the person the rest just fall down and don't even know what threw them down they just got up to clean themselves and say kai now wow, what is all this one now whereas one person has that encounter sent 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 the word that changes my life sent i have had encounters with sent words and sent prophets and my god did my life change tonight let me tell you if you can believe this he said believe his prophets i know you are a businessman i know you are educated I know you are smart, but there are many equations in this life that cannot be solved with pen and paper. They are solved from the realm of the spirit. It's only the result you receive here. Are we together now? Believe in his prophets, so shall you prosper. Write this down, please. His prophet here is the vessel sent from him to you. You must first acknowledge that this vessel is sent from God to you. And one of the ways that you can help yourself to believe the prophet God has sent to you is investigate the dealings of God with that man. Don't just believe for nothing. You have a right to investigate the dealings of God with that man. What is so special about this man? Why should I believe him? Why should I take the word that he's bringing seriously? Every true prophet of God has a track record of his dealings with God. Investigate the dealings of God. Study the track records of his results. I think it's unfair if you just yoke people to believe you just like that. No. Give them room to study the track records of your result and find out whether the results are worth your believing. How do you believe his prophets? Open up your spirit to receive both his grace and his instructions. Don't just receive the grace alone. Instructions. Many times believers miss it because we miss instructions very subtle instructions sometimes very ego stinging instructions like you were seated here now and then i just said everybody shout jesus you know i don't mean to embarrass your intelligence you don't sit on a seat and shout jesus you've been singing a song before you came here you there was jesus more than 10 times in that song you kept shouting jesus jesus lover of my soul and nothing happened and here you are sitting and a man is saying just shout jesus once if you don't have this revelation you can sit down and say please what is we are not children here what is all this nonsense he told naaman go to jordan wash seven times J naaman said me jordan there are clean rivers somewhere and a small girl said you are the one in trouble if you don't go and wash you can go back with your lepros two scriptures and then we'll pray. Exodus chapter 14 and verse 31. And Israel saw the great work which the Lord did upon the Egyptians. It says, and the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and also what his servant moses god performs mighty things and creates that track record not just so that he alone will be believed 
God also wants the vessel he's using to be believed. The Bible says they feared the Lord. They believed the Lord and they believed his servant. They believed the Lord and they believed his servant. You believe the Lord, you don't believe his servant, you may not get any miracle. Exodus chapter 19 and verse 9. Exodus chapter 19 and verse 9. And the Lord said unto Moses, look up please. Lo, I come unto thee in a thick cloud, that the people may hear when I speak with thee, and believe thee forever. That means, I can talk to you without the cloud, but I keep that cloud as that evidence so that the people can trust that it is me you are talking to. I'm, I'm going that far because I don't just want the people to believe me alone. I want them to believe you too because their receiving is dependent on their both their believing me, God, and their believing you, his servant. He says, and the Lord said, I come in a thick cloud. So sometimes when God does some of these signs and wonders, it's, it's not really just for him alone. When God does some of these things, oh, there's a lady here and someone is shouting. Another, you know what God is doing? He's using those things. It's, it's a similitude of the cloud to help you see. You can call somebody and say, who is grace or who is um, victory? And you can say, this is just guessing. I'm sure it's just guessing. But how do you guess that someone in this direction do you guess that one? God does some of these things sometimes purposely to just address the, the leftover of unbelief. Because you see, some of us are coming from different Christian experiences. Some of us have been, our minds have been messed up by all kinds of theology, all kinds of philosophies. Some of us have had bad experiences with all kinds of men of God, prophets and whatever. And chances are that when you come like this, usually you will just add the man of God to the list of all the people and hope that he's just a better version of them. And God says not so. And he uses these signs to speak to you that you are in Mount Zion. Are we together? It's amazing how a little miracle can just readjust your unbelief immediately. Readjust your unbelief while the devil is trying to lie to you. Can your life be changed all of a sudden? The, the power will touch the person near you. This somebody you shook hands with, turn to your neighbor and say this and that. So you know that the person, uh, the person can be acting. It's a very difficult thing for believers to believe God. But I think it's even harder to believe a man of God. And people have all kinds of justifications as to why they shouldn't believe men of God. But regardless of what your justifications are, if you believe God and don't believe the vessel, you will be established but you will not prosper. Are we together? Your prosperity is what gives evidence to your establishment. You must believe one word from God can turn your life around one prophetic word can turn your life around all these strange spirits that oppress people they don't just go because they are told to go no it takes the anointing I was talking with one of the protocol uh, people when we were coming down here and I told him I was shaking my head and then I was talking to him and I said I am amazed driving down to come for the miracle service now. I said, I am amazed at how people in Africa and Nigeria trivialize success. I am shocked at how people um, believe that success is about luck. It's amazing how people can see a huge sacrifice and trivialize it and just make it look like, I think these people are just fortunate. Is that true? I, I, these were my contemplations while I was coming. Listen, there's no result that happens in this kingdom by mistake. No. Including the testimony you are about to have. That gentleman from Ghana, he did not just press this thing and found my name. No, 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 no. 
the anointing that is sent with that word works day or night are we together now there are many testimonies just like his that gentleman you see that now someone will tell you i was sitting and i had a dream how about those who buy new phones brand new phones brand new phones and then they open it and see koinonia messages inside how do you explain that a new phone not new uh, what they call that thing not new memory card i'm not talking about new memory card a new phone that you bought it tear rubber you are the one who opened it then the first thing you see inside is a message that answers your question who, who now who, how do you explain that listen listen we live in a world that is not natural it only manifests the spiritual naturally the, the 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 earlier you got this the better my brothers and my sisters hear me all that you see in this world is only a reflection say reflection the real control room in this our world is the realm of the spirit whoever can ascend this three-dimensional realm has the advantage of victory nothing happens that is physical are we together one of the reasons why many of us are seated here tonight among the many miracles we desire is finance oh nigerians finance you want to talk a good news to any honest nigerian right now in this day and age as we transit into the ember month no matter speak about their spiritual life yes speak about their love for god passion new depths but please don't ignore that other one just even if it's in passing just say something about it finance many people want to see financial breakthrough many people are working and they're trusting god for breakthrough and remember the strange thing about finance do you know why listen i'm not talking about money we're going to pray shortly do you know why many believers are poor because in the kingdom finance is warfare money is not just an instrument to live well it's a weapon see listen oh dear what's it ecclesiastes 7 let me just talk a little you was uh i, I, I didn't plan to say this but ecclesiastes 7 verse 12 let me show you something may god give somebody deliverance right now read it read it one to read for wisdom is a defense uh-huh and money is a defense just stop there so we know from the word that both wisdom and money is a defense now look up when the bible says you have a weapon what is a weapon something you use to both defend yourself and you can use also for attack is that true if you give me a weapon like a shield i use it for defense and the bible says one of the many weapons money is one of them and the bible says those weapons are not carnal the word not carnal means they are not man-made but my brother my sister this thing is man-made it was made by cbn that means this is not what god is talking about because this is man-made but the bible says this weapon that he calls money is not carnal he said it is mighty through god that means there is a spirit are you getting what i'm saying that means this thing is only the body the same way a human being is called currency anything that moves is a living thing and that means there is a spirit inside the body to move it you are only seeing the body where is the spirit that moves it that's why it can enter a house you didn't ask it to go and it will go out by itself it can enter your account and still go out because it's warfare the bible says, believe is prophet there is something they can do that can do something to the many things including this This is what we chase all around because we think this is paper no this is not this is paper yes but there is a spirit behind it and this thing respects that spirit this is what you need to understand so the spirit can instruct it to leave you 
and he can live no matter how hard working you are you can receive salary and all you have is part of this left and it can be instructed to leave you it will, you know it's going it's going out of your life it just touches your hand and disappears because the weapons prosperity is warfare it's not just about money to buy car and houses money is a defense it can defend the gospel it can defend a man and the bible says all those weapons they are not carnal so if you ever see this looking for anybody naira does not look for men something makes it come i please are you getting what i'm saying if you can understand this alone at least even if you don't know how it comes you already know that it doesn't come by itself these are the mysteries that surround our kingdom you ever see anybody prosperous in the kingdom my brothers and my sisters listen to me this is a spiritual realm you don't have to be a Christian to believe it. You just have to be alive. This is a spiritual realm. Animals know it. Plants know it's a spiritual realm. That's why you throw a seed in the ground and you cover it. You don't leave it open. You cover it. Because what happens there is none of your business. Now you just cover it and watch it happen. And it grows to become a tree that you cannot push down. A little seed. When you planted it, it had no roots. The Bible says, just like you do not know the way of the wind, nor how a woman, how a child is formed in the womb of her that is with child, you know, and all of that, so also you don't know the way of God. The Lord brought you here tonight because there are spiritual possibilities, listen, that are beyond the realm of the eyes. Are we together? most times we believe only what we can see and understand and explain unfortunately in this kingdom there are things that you may not be able to explain when people come here to testify you see me sit quietly and i watch and many times i'm in shock as i watch the immutability of god's power in the lives of people the same way you are going to come up here to testify yes it's true what suddenly happens to you and then you have someone just call you and say we are sending you to us to get a job Hapa, my brothers and my sisters i've told you again and again that everybody who helps you has relatives too who i need whatever makes you to leave them and come to you is not normal That you are sitting and someone says i'm thinking of you who do you think you are no i want to help you i want to bless you you step into prepared blessings blessings that you are as sure he said master we have toiled all night and jesus looked at them you know how to fish by waiting in the night and allowing the fish to come and rest on your net then you quickly pull it in the morning that's how you were trained but let me show you another technology cast your net to the right side master but we only have left and right <clears throat> this one is not brain work now this one is not one plus one i told you one plus one plus god is equal to whatever he says the answer should be one plus one is two but one plus one plus God is not equal to two. It's not even equal to 10,000. It's equal to any answer that God puts there. So one plus one can be equal infinity. God said so. Are we together now? I'm saying this to build your faith tonight so that you will believe that God is able to do anything at all when you look at the way you got to hear about this ministry and the various ways the holy spirit worked with you till you came today you should know already that there is a god in heaven are we together now brothers and sisters i present to you this same god who can change your life who will change your life 
I'm saying this so that you don't just sit down and be clapping for others. Wow, this is how God has changed this lady's life. Wow, we are soon going to pray. You must have a desperation and say, Lord, I didn't come tonight to clap for anybody. I left my journey wherever. Lord, I know that you will visit me. And I hold on to the horns of the altar. While you are sitting, the devil is telling you, remember tomorrow by 12, your rent or embarrassment. Say, Satan, go away. I'm before the presence of God. Tomorrow is too far. God can. How many minutes does it take to do a transfer? I believe him. Yes, I do. I believe him. I believe him. I believe him. I believe he can change my life. In one minute, I want you to just mention everything you are trusting God to do tonight. Go ahead. Lord, I believe you for this. I believe you for that. Those outside, whether you are standing by the wall, whether you are standing in any of the overflows, and those following online, release your faith. Don't be distracted. Any spirit that distracts you in this moment now is of the devil. It's a Luciferian spirit. Let your spirit and let your attention be open. Yes, Lord, I believe you. Mention it. Don't say it's too big. That's the devil. Too big compared to what? Pray, believers. Lord, I know you are able. You are able to take away this reproach from this family. Talk to Jesus. Even if you find yourself crying, just continue to speak. Lord, you are able. Change this situation. Turn my academics around. Lord, turn my finances around. Lord, I'm in a situation right now where only you, the God of heaven, can arise. Turn my ministry around. Lord, I'm confused. I don't even know where to go right now. I don't know whether to go to the left or to the right, but I receive grace. Pray. Are you praying? Kill on belief as you are praying. Don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time. God of heaven. It says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and by supplication, with thanksgiving, it says, make your request known. Don't assume it is known. Make your request known. Lord, I'm here tonight because I want you to turn the situation of my family around. Lord, there is a death sentence over my family, and you have to arise for me tonight. Lord, there is a death sentence over my life. Lord, I've been delayed 10 years of my life. I am backward 10 years. There has to be a way you restore me, oh God. Lord, I'm trusting you for the fruit of the womb. The gentleman who came here, seven children lost, including twins. Lord, I'm trusting you to refire my spiritual life. Something has happened to the anointing upon my life. Something has happened to the glory upon my destiny. I'm here tonight, oh God, turn my life around. Turn my life around something has happened the signs and wonders are no more like before the revelation and the grace and the utterance is not like before i'm here for a turnaround oh god
my prayer life has died i'm here for a reawakening i no longer fast i no longer pray i don't know what has happened to me i cry for help hallelujah one more prayer point lord i believe you and i believe your servant i believe that anointing and i believe in its ability to turn my life around walk on any unbelief in my heart oh god and take it out tonight go ahead and pray every spirit of doubt every spirit of fear Isaiah 61 please participate in everything we are doing it's going to be a very fast one but let your spirit be open the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord the same Lord that you are instructed to believe hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. now listen this is why he anointed me because there is an agenda but that that agenda cannot be achieved just by a well-meaning heart it takes more than sincerity to bind up a broken heart to proclaim liberty now i like this one to proclaim to declare that the time has come for you to walk free it says and the opening of prison my brothers and my sisters there can be men physically walking but they are in prison next verse Verse 2, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those who mourn. It takes more than a handkerchief to comfort men. It takes the anointing. Verse 3, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Now this is the part I like, to give them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. Hallelujah. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called trees or oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. So the end of it is for God to be glorified but not in the current state. No. So anything in your family make sure you carry your family along in this miracle service don't just stand alone to receive i've told you if you are blessed and your family members are not blessed you are not free you are not free at all if you are the only one who is alive and everybody is just dying like a chicken you are still not free are we together now thank you jesus christ let me give us one last prayer point father every desire i brought here tonight I'm not walking back with it. Lift your voice and pray. Every. Let your faith rise as you pray. Shalakata barakatosh. Talato shabra hasikete malakata. Shakata kata barakata barakata barakosh. Every desire.
visit me oh god completely the god who touches my spiritual life can touch my finances too the god who touches my body can touch my womb too lord i insist i insist for completeness comes upon your life right now then the Lord okay I want to pray a prayer now please be your brother's keeper whether you are inside or outside is because of what will happen when I pray the anointing will come and people will act out what I'm saying physically that's why I'm saying you should you should just hold them are we together now the Lord is asking me to release speed. Listen, speed is a very powerful thing. When that anointing comes, you will start running like Elijah. That's why I'm saying, hold them. Right now, I stretch my hands inside, outside, online, and I declare, Spirit of the living God, there are men and women here who have been delayed, and speed must come upon them. Right now, I declare at the count of three, one, two, three, receive that grace. I command speed, speed right now, speed, let the hand of God come upon you. The Bible says the hand of the Lord was upon Elijah and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I command speed, receive it, it's coming on you now. Some of you is coming on you for the sake of your family. It's not just you alone, it's coming on you for the sake of your family. Let the chains be broken. I release speed. Speed. In one month. In one month. I'm prophesying that in one month, what has not been done in five years, in one month, receive that grace. I energize your spirit, man. Speed. When speed comes upon a family, you will see it in the result. When speed comes upon your spiritual life, when speed comes upon your academics, I'm praying again, the angels that ride upon the chariots are bringing you speed. I release that grace. Let that anointing come upon you. Speed, speed, in the name of Jesus Christ. Speed. Shalakato sadakata. Now, now listen. 
fire in the spirit has many significance fire this fire is a mystery it was a reality borrowed from the realm of the spirit that we use here fire does not run away from any element fire is the only thing that all other elements must fit whether you put metal the metal will be hot wood will be burnt rubber will be melted there is nothing that stands fire other things can stand water but not fire are we together now he said he shall baptize you with the holy ghost and with fire when the holy spirit listen is moving to break chains he moves as fire do you know why because fire destroys every other thing yet it is not destroyed it is not solid it is not liquid are we together it looks like gas but it's there you are seeing it you can't hold it you can't cage fire you can't lock it up it's not restrained by anything the holy ghost is going to move right now in this place as fire listen this fire i want you to bring those people out this fire you see will bring an end now believe me when i tell you this will bring an end to many captivities many captivities at the count of three i just want you to shout with me that word fire that word fire and many of you will be surprised in the name of jesus where sam there's a song in my spirit when we sing that song what's the name of that song blow 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 like a mighty wind am i correct so you know what i'm talking about so you sing that song by the time we pray in the name of jesus i'm stretching my hands right now spirit of the lord you seek to reveal yourself as fire that consuming fire no power and no spirit even spirits can be burnt by fire in the name of jesus i declare that any operation that is not of god at the count of three by the mystery of the holy ghost as fire let there be deliverance let there be refining let there be the breaking of chains are you ready now one two three bring them out fire the mystery of fire I declare any chain if there is anyone under the sound of my voice and any chain has held your destiny by the mystery of this fire I'm speaking by this apostolic and prophetic grace I decree and declare to the heavens at the count of three may that fire locate chains in this place now one two three chains be broken chains be broken Spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Sing below, blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Hallelujah, Madam.
madam, please clear the way for me. This women, tap this women for me. One, two, and the other person, three. Please come. Mama, I'm going to pray for you. You are welcome. Your first time here? I came here last week. Okay, you were here last week and you too. Um, is this the is this the mama I asked to come? I think it's someone else I saw, but when you are here, we'll honor you. But I want to pray for you. Madam, look at me. I'm seeing witchcraft in your life and your family. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands, man. Look at me. I know you believe in the power of God. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end every oppression of darkness. Mama, I decree and declare, in one month, your life will turn around and to surprise you. In one month. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where is that man that came from my Duguri? The one who came to give you a testimony. Mama, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying I should tell you that the oppression is over. Look, I'm seeing fire. He's leaving my hands and is coming upon you in the name of Jesus Christ please where is that man we have to hurry up there's, there's a lot to do in the name of Jesus Christ mama I decree and declare over your life that fire the Lord it looks like you are an elderly woman but the Lord is going to use you mightily. What you are receiving now is not just a miracle yet. You are receiving an impartation. You will begin to know the Holy Spirit in a very intimate way. Hold my hand. Spirit of the living God, you seek to use this dear mother. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will know the Holy Spirit in supernatural ways. His fire will come upon your life and he will use you in a very mighty way. In the name of Jesus, come. You are the man that came from Eduguri. What is this? CV and your CV. You are trusting God for a job. And who is this? Hold it. Do you believe that if I pray for you, you are returning with a job? You believe that? Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I release the anointing upon you and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, let there be that miracle. You go and return with your job, sir. Let me pray for you, man. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you and I declare that the oppression of darkness comes to an end. A complete end over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray right now, but let me just... Um, the Lord is showing me, oh dear, sometimes this time, time, time just affects you. But I'm praying right now and I'm seeing letters and I'm seeing on the letter, congratulations, listen. And I'm seeing that this is a symbolism of breakthrough. Listen, let me tell you, except God is not God, if this anointing that I'm seeing touches you, then you and your family must stand here and testify. I'm stretching my hands right now. Lord, you are showing me this. In the name of Jesus, this is a symbol of breakthrough. I stretch my hands. Every family and every person that must receive of this grace, I'm stretching my hands now. You must testify. I release upon you that grace you must testify. I declare whatever it will 
translates to whether a job whether increase whether promotion i command it i declare it i decree it. in the name of jesus i command it i decree it i declare it right now in the mighty name of jesus christ hold the hands of this lady this one hold the hands of this lady in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands right now and i declare it's time for your family to rise i'm speaking it by the spirit of prophecy and i decree and declare every embargo that holds on to that family i command that is gone now in the name of jesus it is gone i cause the power of witchcraft in the name of jesus christ stretch your hands towards me your hand is a symbol of your productivity and there are many of you there is no grace on the works of your hands i look and in the spirit i don't see the blessing of the lord working that's what is responsible for hardship it's not like you are not employed or you are not doing this but in the name of jesus i stand representing the spirit of god and i stretch my hands back to you i'm declaring still that ministry of fire many of you will be surprised whatever it is you are involved in god is about to bring grace upon it i stretch my hands right now at the count of three may the fire of god come through your hands into your life lord i pray in the name of jesus whatever has not been working in your life i force it to work right now receive that anointing i force it to work now inside outside i force it to work now those following online i pray and i speak whatever it is that you are doing i declare the blessing i activate the blessing upon the work of your hand i take away hardship from your life in the name of jesus christ I take away hardship from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. the lord is opening the eyes of people into where your blessing is i'm seeing fire still this fire thing coming on the eyes of people physically you will feel fire burning and ideas the lord is birthing things is is a birthing in the spirit i release that grace right now in the name of jesus lord all those who must see show them oh god where their blessings are stationed so that they stop dilly around life i decree and declare receive that grace the grace of an open eye the grace of an open vision may the lord show you where the resources of your destiny is may the lord show you where your helpers are in the name of jesus christ hallelujah this the prayer is for everybody eh? but this particular prayer now is for ladies the lord is showing me destinies that must be changed outwardly you are beautiful you are good looking you are virtuous you are wonderful but in the realm of the spirit is not what we are seeing physically that we are seeing in this in the realm of the spirit a man with an ugly situation sat down at a gate called beautiful the gate was beautiful but the man's life was nonsense 
there are many people you can stand I'm, I'm saying everybody but this is ex specifically for our sisters and it's not just the issue of marriage I'm not talking about marriage alone that there is a fragrance a presence that can ooze from you and bring favor to your life but many of you physically they look at you and you look like you are beautiful, you are this, you are that. But in the realm of the spirit, there are powers sitting on people's destiny. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. I want to pray for you. That, that force, that fail must be torn. In the name of Jesus, ah, I'm seeing a strange grace that is coming on many people, especially our sisters. I declare any wrong identity that you are given in the realm of the spirit that is not a reflection of your true identity any exchange that has been made in the realm of the spirit so that physically you should be blessed but in the realm of the spirit you are carrying another person's destiny right now by the fire of the holy ghost sisters may that anointing come upon you now may that grace come upon you now I declare anyone's destiny here that has been changed and switched and manipulated in the realm of the spirit so that what you look like is not a reflection of what your destiny is I change it now in the name of Jesus I change it now in the name of Jesus Listen, a man's destiny can be exchanged. It's true. Have you not read in the Bible where kings slaughtered their children to prolong their own lives? A man's destiny can be a shadow of something else. You know you are alive, but this is not your life. You know that you are living another person's script. I'm saying it again. In the name that is above all names. Sir, come. I don't know you, but I want to pray for you, sir. God is going to turn your life around. And you see this prayer that I'm saying generally, this prayer, sir, is for you. You are a shadow of your life. Of your is your dad. Where did he come from? From high there. From high there. From high there. Daddy, I'm going to pray for you. This is not just about your leg. Huh? This is about your destiny. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands up. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare. Entes kalabraha fas kada barakoto supriata kataj mande kres koda hashabari katos kada natos kada natos kada mashada kata empreke te koto koto bat sada balakata shapres kete 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 balakata shapriata kata in the name of Jesus anyone who has exchanged your destiny sir I decree and declare restoration now. You are the daughter, hold my hands, I pray for you. Look at me. You are a wonderful lady, huh? But bad things continue to happen in your life. Huh? You are a nice lady. Are you married? I'm married, but we're divorced. Don't worry. I know why I'm saying. You get what I'm saying now? Yes, sir. Because what I'm seeing, this is a spirit. You are a nice lady, but people continue to misunderstand you. Yes, sir. Yes, Good sir. things, and people look at you. In the eye of many people now, you are, you are a devil... You are a terrible lady, yes, but it's sir. not true. Yes. You have a very beautiful heart. This is what happens when... Do you know that there are spirits that make sure you are misrepresented in the eyes of people? A ministry can be under this captivity. No matter... The Bible said, don't let your good be evil spoken of. You can be nice to somebody like it's happening to many of you. And people end up fighting you. You bought something for them. And they end up, you are saying, what is this? I pray for you and the person says, so you are trying to say I'm the one who is not spiritual. It's a spirit. My dear, I want to pray for you. Eh? This thing is not just about your marriage that is, you know, things have gone wrong. You are a wonderful lady. 
Uh, favor will come close to you but then never enter your life. Yes, sir. What yes, do you sir. do? I'm working in every security. Uh, you are in security? Yes, sir. Did you go to school? Yes, sir. I'm running my master's. You are running your master's? Yes, sir. My dear, do you believe God can change your life yes, now? Yes, sir. I believe, sir. Hold my hands. To appoint unto them. You see that? To appoint. This one is a prophet's reward. It's not just that God is saying, do this. There is something in the spirit called a prophet's reward. The possibilities that accompany an office, I declare in the name of the God of heaven whom I represent, may your life change this night in a way that will surprise you. Listen, I lift you from this security work you are doing and I put you in a position that befits your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, Daddy sir, I'm praying for your daughter in your presence. This lady will come here and give a testimony that even you as a father will say this one is the Lord's doing. Are we together now? I declare it, I decree it done right now. Hear me? I don't care whether you are working or not. If you are not in the rightful place as ordained by God, I want to pray a very serious prayer because there are people, the work you are doing is a nonsense work. That work is, it has robbed your spiritual life. It has destroyed your relationships. Because of that work, no man can see you to marry you. Demonic work that closes you everywhere. I decree and declare, I stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace. If you are in a place that is not your assigned place of destiny, I take you out of that place and I shift you to the place of destiny. I shift I shift you in the spirit. I shift you by prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, if the widow of Zarephath was not where the prophet met her, that's how her miracle would have gone. It matters that you are in the right place at the time God sends your miracle. Some of these things in the name of employment, they are traps of the devil. I'm not saying it's not good to work, don't get me wrong. But many of them are traps from the peace of hell. There are people whose spiritual lives have gone down from heaven to earth. Simply in the name of job. Are we together? Nonsense job. That on Sunday you're on your way going to church, your boss calls you and says you must come and resume. What shall it profit a man if you gain the... What is it? Is that the whole world? How much is the salary? Lose your soul for peanuts. I declare again, in the name of Jesus, may my God relocate someone here by the power of the Holy Spirit. May my God relocate a destiny, relocate a family. If you are not in your assigned place, I shift you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Do you know, listen, we're going to pray for the sick shortly. There are people that if the devil wants to destroy them, he will make sure they get visa. Ah, Pastor Jay, it's good to see you. There are people that if the devil wants to destroy them, they will get visa to UK. They think it's breakthrough, but they have gone away from their place of destiny. God spoke to Jonah, go to Nineveh. Jonah entered a boat on his way to Tarsus. And because of that wrong journey, people lost their properties. People lost. He entered a boat and made people to start destroying their lives. They were almost dying because a man was not in sync with seasons. Let me tell you this. It matters that God meets you at the place where your blessing is waiting for you. The devil can relocate people and, and destroy your life. There are many Nigerians outside this country whose destiny is ordained by God to be in this country. You see them roaming around like armed robbers around the world in the name of abroad. And there are others whose destinies are abroad and the devil will make sure that he will peg them somewhere. 
and Isaac sowed in that land. It's not just that he sowed. The place he sowed matters. Isaac sowed in that land. Abraham, take now thy son and go. Go to a location. That's where I will meet with you. God is everywhere. But destiny does not meet with men everywhere. You must have the discernment to understand your season of visitation. I repeat this. You see me speaking like this. I'm speaking by the Spirit. There are some of you, it's an instruction from God to you. Don't be careless about your life. Look at how many Nigerians. You go to embassies and see Nigerians. They want to go abroad by fire, by force. Ask them why. They will say greener pastures. I've told you, greener pastures is not in any physical location on earth. Greener pastures is in the world. When I sent thee, lackest thou anything? Not when you went. Jesus instructed them and said, do not go. Go only to the lost tribe of Israel. Don't go outside that camp. Because salvation was for the Jews first. If they went to the Gentiles, they would have received a root shock. Direction. Direction. Please, in one minute before we pray for the sick, lift your voice and say, Lord, direct me. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. Direct me. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, unto a woman, unto a family. Direction. Your blessing is not just generically in U.S. or U.K. There are people suffering in every nation. It takes the leadership of the Spirit. He is risen from the dead, you are Lord. Light is shining in the darkness, Jesus. Chains are breaking. You are risen. From the dead and you are Lord <laughs> Light is shining In the darkness Jesus I'm seeing something strange that will begin to happen in the spirit People will start dancing in the spirit This is what I see it's a mystery. It's going to happen by the Spirit. Literally, literally dancing in the Spirit. It's an operation of the Holy Spirit is releasing tonight. He's doing a miracle in the midst of His people. Let's just flow with what the Holy Ghost is doing. The miracle service for next week has begun already. Dancing in the Spirit. The Holy Spirit is moving people and influencing them. Influencing them by an ability that is greater. Shaboka Supra is Kalabariaga. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Forever you will be a lamb upon the throne. I gladly bow my knee to worship. Forever you will be You're the Lamb of
every course is reversed your hands and just be quiet in his presence. Just lift your hands to the heavens. Everywhere inside and his glory is mighty in this place. Mm. Just lift your hands to his glory. Just lift your hands. Of your presence, we your temple. We give you reverence. Now arise from your throne. By our praise as we glory in your embrace. Let your power now feel. Lord, we wait on you. For you are that river that flows from Zion, bringing healing, bringing salvation. We have come tonight, O oh God, expecting you to bless us. We are not in a hurry. We are not in a hurry. We will wait. Keep your hands lifted. For in your presence there's fullness of joy and now strength shall be restored as we wait upon 
I will wait oh. For in your presence There's fullness of joy And our strength Will be restored For we wait upon the Lord. Yes, we wait upon the Lord. Oh, wait on Him. There is strength coming upon you. We wait upon the Lord. We wait. Upon the Lord, she na 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 mo na so na na na, she na ma na mo so na 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 na, she na 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 she na 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 ni na na, she na na mo so na na ma li na mo se ta li na 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 na, she na ma de na na da ma li na mo so na na ni. Lord, we wait on you. You are drawing strength from the throne. Don't you think you are wasting time at all? This is part of the meeting. Already he's doing miracles. He's touching people by his anointing. Touching people by his anointing. No man is able to respond to your situation. We're invoking an anointing that is greater than us, a power that is greater than us. I hear the Spirit say unto me, Lay your burdens down. Lay your burdens down. That's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. Lay your burdens down. The bills, the sickness, the frustrations. For I am able, said the Spirit of God. I am able, said the Spirit of God. Lay your burdens down. You have allowed your situations to overwhelm you. You have allowed your situations to becloud your faith. I am still able. I am still able, said the Spirit of God. I am still able. That's what the Lord is telling us tonight. I am able. You may not know how the miracle will come to pass, but I am able. I am able. That's what the Lord is saying. I'm moving ahead of you into that area of darkness. The Lord is giving people miracles, responding to your individual needs. I may not know what they are, but you came for koinonia. The God of heaven is meeting men at the point of their needs. I go before you. I go before you. I go before you. I'm seeing what looks like a cleaner. God is saying, I'm erasing your mistakes. That's what God is saying to someone. I'm erasing your mistakes. I'm erasing your past. I'm giving you a new beginning. I'm giving you a new beginning. A new beginning. Yes, we wait. Yes, we wait. The Lord is speaking to someone. I'm restoring your dreams and visions. That's what God is saying. I'm restoring. I'm restoring your dreams. Those encounters you used to have. Those supernatural encounters. You stopped writing for a long time. Because the visitation ceased. Tonight the oil is being opened and released unto you. It's like a fragrance. You are receiving it. It's coming upon your life. That's what the Spirit is saying. It's time to come back to the secret place. It's time to come back to the secret place. For someone the Lord is ministering. 
you used to spend time with me two hours every night but you stopped you stopped there were all kinds of distractions but the lord is saying i'm still waiting for you in that place of encounter i'm still waiting for you to show you great things to show you great things to show you great things the lord is speaking to a man here you are an engineer and he's saying do not give up i'm about to step into your life do not give up the lord gave you a word by january that he will honor you but as it is you've not seen anything no projects no work but the lord is saying i should tell you he's stepping in even in this glory stepping in in this glory there are a number of ladies here you really used to hear god with clarity but all kinds of distractions came into your life and sincerely for a long time you cannot say you really had god with a clear direction but the lord is bringing a restoration right now that's what is happening the hearing ears god is opening your ears once again to start hearing the voice of the spirit with clarity i'm seeing i'm seeing green grasses that's what i'm seeing the lord is bringing freshness to your spiritual life that life of stillness stillness carrying yesterday's grace yesterday's glory the lord is replacing it with something new and fresh thank you jesus for you alone will do these things and glorify yourself You have come tonight to experience His grace. The anointing of the Spirit is strong. Let's just flow with what God is doing. Lord, let no burden remain. Let no burden remain. Let no burden remain. According to your promises, I can stand secure. Would you carve upon my heart this truth that sets me free? According to your word, oh Lord, be it unto me. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, says the works that I do shall also do greater works than this shall be. Spirit of God, we thank you for your presence. is speaking a word to someone and he's saying the harassment comes to stop it comes to full stop tonight the harassment in dreams that spirit that comes to you to oppress you the harassment stops the harassment stops by the anointing of the holy spirit the harassment stops the harassment stops But thou, oh Lord, had a shield for me. 
my glory and the lifter of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory and the lifter. My glory and the lifter of my head. And now, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. Father, tonight. Please let no one with any burden go back to say your people have come expecting a touch you're already touching people in the name of Jesus please everyone just lay your right hand on your tummy this is the instruction God is giving let's just act lay your right hand on your tummy Please, no instruments, everything, just stop. Let's, let's just obey what the Lord is saying. Just lay your right hand on your tummy. Don't mind me. This is what the Holy Ghost is telling me. Now, there are many of you who are going to be receiving strange graces for the next level. Supernatural direction. It will come like fire inside and outside. Right now, oh God, confirm your word with power across this building and in every of the overflows right now just keep your hands on your stomach miracles shabakataya let it leave the heavens and come to the earth miracles miracles everywhere outside there is a mighty angelic walk it's like an impregnation that is happening outside strange signs outside in every one of the overflows Strange signs of the spirit. Strange signs. There are two ladies at my back in the worship team. I see the power of God touching you right now. Strange signs. That fire from your innermost being. From your innermost being right now. The Lord is doing that miracle across the entire auditorium. He's touching people. Let's just let him do what he's doing. Because this is the answer to your prayer. This is why you have prayed. You can't stand it. Lord, let it leave your throne. Let it not be restrained in the heavens until it steps into the destinies of your people. This is what they have prayed for. They have fasted for it. They have prayed. They have fasted. They have prayed. They have fasted. Then let it come, O oh God. Let it come, O oh God. The grace that can open strange doors, strange testimonies, strange testimonies. Shaka Barakosia. Just the guitar. Just play minors. Just on the guitar. Go ahead. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Not the bass guitar. Just keep your hands on your stomach. The Lord is doing a miracle. The Lord is saying he's stepping into the finances of families this is what I'm hearing that's why he told me let the guitar play because he wants to speak the Lord is doing miracles in finance in the finances of many families right now I'm hearing favor financial favor I'm releasing financial favor you will hear the testimony it will start in your life. It will flow to your family. That's what the Lord is saying. Where are they, oh God? Touch them, touch them, touch them, touch them. Bring performance to your word. Bring creation to your word. Financial miracles. 
financial miracles the lord is saying it's time to move to the next level he's speaking to families it's time to move financially there is a mantle coming i'm seeing it like a dew it's like the dew of heaven if it comes upon you it's your family he's talking about if it comes upon you expect it don't just receive expect a testimony i don't know how it will happen but if you are affected by this prophetic word then your family is under the influence of a financial anointing lord spare not your hand stretch it from the heavens stretch it from the heavens release financial miracles that's what the lord is saying for many of you it will do you like a dream you wouldn't even know how it will happen supernatural connections strategic alliances by the spirit of god meeting the people that matter meeting the people that matter financial saviors financial helpers joseph safari matthias rising for you rising for you this is what you have prayed for it is important that you receive testimonies you receive miracles there is a lady you traveled from the south like a, one of the Yoruba countries you came all the way from the south and you came asking the Lord to visit your family right now the miracle is already beginning for your family such an invasion of the Spirit of God it's bringing light to every area of darkness There is a brother the lord is speaking he's saying leave the wedding date at september don't move it leave it there i will make it happen it will be by my spirit the lord is speaking to a brother leave the wedding date at september leave it there don't change it because of finances i will move and go ahead of you i will move and go ahead of you i will move and go ahead of you The Lord is speaking to a woman here, not a young lady, a woman. The dream that I gave you July 2012 is about to come to pass. The dream that I gave you July 2012. July 2012 is coming to pass speedily. July 2012. That dream that I gave you July 2012 is coming to pass. A miracle is coming for a gentleman by the name Musa. Musa, a gentleman by the name Musa. The Lord is bringing a miracle for him right now. God is healing a lady of appendicitis. Appendicitis, that's what, that's what it is. You don't know, but you've been having severe pain. Severe pain is appendicitis. And the Lord is bringing a miracle right now. There is a man here you've been trusting god for promotion this is five years five years the lord says in the next three months your letter will arrive in the next three months and you will testify pay attention to the prophetic words there is grace to make them come to pass Blessed be the name of the Lord. Please be seated if you can. Just leave those under the anointing. Just sit if you can. God is doing strange things tonight. There are three ladies this will come upon supernatural laughter in a very strange way they can't control it i will worship you forever love you forever 
this God is still Don't just bring people out like that, please. This is a prophetic experience. They'll never be able to stop the laughter. It's not, it's not about what they want to do. It's a, it's a message. I will worship you forever. Love you forever. Because I prophesy to all three of you. Let your family step into a season of laughter right now. I release that anointing even as you are laughing i release it in the name of jesus there is authority in your laughter i declare by that authority in the name that is above all names in the name that is above all names the lord is bringing miracles to people glorify yourself oh god in the name of jesus listen we do business in this kingdom on the strength of mysteries. Mysteries are secret codes of operation. He said the secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him. And he will show them his covenants. There is a way to make things happen in the spirit. Madam, the witchcraft in your family dies forever. It leaves your family right now. I command that spirit. You take your hands off her life in the name of Jesus Christ. James. 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 You are a visitor. Who is that? Is there someone like that? James. There's someone called James. He's a visitor. This is your first time of coming. Run. The Lord wants to use you and bring a miracle to your family. But look at me. God needs to save you. Huh? There are many things wrong with your life. Many things. Huh? You are a bad boy. God is going to change your entire life. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not insulting you, but there will be a miracle for you right now because the hand of God is upon your life, but there is a spirit that is destroying you. A spirit that is destroying you. I cast that spirit right now. Let it live your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you can use anybody and anything. You brought James out. In the name of Jesus. Let me talk to one more lady. Helene. I'm hearing a name. Helene. Is there someone with that name? Helene. Come. Who came with you? Came alone. You came alone. Why am I seeing a man standing near you? Listen. There is a spirit tormenting you. Let her go now. I curse you by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus. This has stopped her life. Tied everything. I'm seeing everything under chains. There is a man standing. And this man is shouting and saying he's married to you. I curse you by the God of heaven. Hold my hands name of Jesus that spirit lives your life forever I bring you complete deliverance in the name of Jesus are you married that's it for your marriage this is the reason why you're not married. are you hearing what I'm saying because this has been your prayer this has been your desire anything you start and I need to pray for you because your stomach is swelling it's even embarrassing you you are thinking it's because you are eating too much if I don't pray for you they will tell you something like fibroid is growing and we have to pray we curse it it dies a natural death and goes back there that person that comes to oppress you in your dream never returns to you again forever in the name of jesus and may doors open for you strangely in the name of jesus christ our time is gone um 
there are three things three keys three mysteries that can invoke the manifested presence of God the manifest presence of God in the life of a man in a ministry I wanted to start a series on throne room encounters but the Lord asked me to talk about this number one is obedience we are going to be fast because I want us to pray God still wants to visit people my sister come this lady um, where the usher is standing that gentleman right one two three just your rope the third lady come no not you the lady at your back come yes she's the one you come please please save our time um, the lord says i should prophesy to you that the rejected stone becomes the chief cornerstone the rejected stone becomes the chief cornerstone you may look at yourself and think you are nobody you may look at yourself and think you are a weak person this is what has been destroying you you compare yourself with people you have been crying simply because you are not doing well you are not doing well in anything and then people have been insulting you and this has made you to feel so bad while you were sitting there the Lord opened my eyes and I saw a lot of misery you see the lady crying you see let me tell you there are all kinds of people seated in this place tonight when you see people just sitting you may not know what is destroying them eating them up because the destiny that I see is far different from what I see right now this is already putting a lot of pressure you love God but you know this sense of inferiority is killing you and eating you up the Lord is saying I should tell you the rejected stone will later become the chief cornerstone Lord Jesus I pray for this dear lady there is nobody you cannot change there is nobody you cannot touch may the God that I serve visit you may he give you a new beginning I cut you away from bad friends and bad influences that make you try to do things to belong no leave them this night don't have anything to do with them in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ madam madam you are asking the Lord to talk to me that I should minister to you I'm hearing your prayer come you are praying and your prayer is coming to my ears you are bowing your head and you are saying oh God please let this man talk to me what is the relationship between you and the woman sitting close to you she's my elder sister do I know come because I'm seeing that the miracle is not just for you alone but God is doing something for the family please stand up Kai, this woman has suffered seriously I look at this woman I'm seeing pains you are a very kind woman but what is this thing that makes you in trouble all sorts of trouble where is your husband what's he doing madam God needs to visit three things that's what the Lord is showing me number one is your finances things are dying in your family that thing your husband is doing before he collects his salary he's already owing there is serious trouble you have cried about this thing it's even causing trouble for you people at home right yes, now sir. is that true yes sir. your husband is in in fact sometimes he looks as if you know you have to look at yourself and say am i irritating this man yes, because sir. of the way he's behaving you are even yes. suspecting that maybe he's having an affair with somebody yes, else sir. The Lord is ending this confusion for you because you are a kind woman. There is a spirit responsible for your tragedy. This woman is a very kind woman, but I'm seeing bad luck everywhere you go. That's what I'm seeing. There's nothing you do that works. See, let me tell you, the power of God. Look at this family crying. You know, sometimes people think we just do these things because we are emotional and we are wasting time. Did you know there are people as they are sitting down there that's their last opportunity they are saying 
they will now go to a prophet or somebody and you will tell them bring hundred thousand bring two hundred thousand remove your clothes let me bath you let me do this and then after that one you add all kinds of things because i'm looking at this woman and i'm seeing a lot of struggle the same spirit causing you pain is what wants to destroy her life and destroy what is supposed to be an, a source of joy for her marriage huh we have to pray did you come alone they're crying For official assignment yesterday she told me about your story i supposed to go back to Abu Dhabi. Yeah. My story. you have changed three universities for my son it's a drug addict my first son 23 years the drug addict where is it's not just that this boy is a drug addict ah i don't like what i'm seeing no because they want to convert this boy that's what i'm saying this is this is not a nice thing we're going to pray truly this woman has suffered but things are going to change your husband needs a miracle a big miracle do you know this woman is so kind she's not even concerned about herself she would rather not have clothes than for her children this is the kind of woman i'm seeing in the spirit i sold my car to pay school fees i sold my car to pay my sons can you work on this technical or shadrach are you doing something wrong i sold my car to pay my son's school your car to pay who school fees? My son's school fees. The boy that is. Oh, yes. look at this. Where is he? See, let me tell you. May God make this never be your testimony. You don't know what it means. The child you are waiting for, trusting that God will use him to wipe your tears, and the devil just hijacks his destiny. Now, no car, and the son is not even serious. I need to pray for you. Because. You have not slept very well in days madam i'm looking at your sister and i'm seeing that you have not slept i'm hearing you people saying what what is wrong with our family especially the girls the ladies in your family that's what you you are the one who is saying that thing you are telling her i'm seeing you people in a discussion and you you are telling her what is wrong with our family all the ladies they are virtuous they love god but nothing good comes out of it and there are families like this seated looking at me is that true madam yes sir because i'm hearing a conversation and she's asking you we and are saying, seven, seven ladies, seven how women. many of you seven of us how who is doing well among you nobody, nobody. you see what i'm saying seven ladies nobody is doing well and all of them are serious and nice virtuous ladies they either get married to foolish men yes, or sir. get married to all kinds of things yes sir where is number four? Who is number four among them? It's her mother. Huh? Her mother. There is a miracle that God wants to give her because the Lord said that she's number four in the order is visiting her. My dear, please calm down. What happened to your mother in her marriage? The devil wants to bring it to happen to you. We are going to destroy. Their father is not with her mother. That's what I'm saying. We are going to destroy because this one soon. I will worship him forever love him forever because this god is too good i will worship him forever love him because this god is too good bring that lady who shouted there is a miracle god wants to give her family is it okay if i just continue ministering please i know i'm supposed to share something but the, the thing God is doing now, God wants to talk to people. Let's let's just let him solve serious problems here. Yeah. It's your time for breakthrough. Stand up. You come. 
I came all the way. An angel of the Lord was walking and said I should follow him. And he brought me to your place. Come. It's time for God to wipe your tears. You get the glory. You get the praise. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you. Thank you. You get the glory. You get the glory. Hallelujah. We don't kill, but I'm seeing someone's uncle dying. I'm seeing that man in a shrine concocting something and saying all the ladies would not marry, but I'm seeing like thunder striking him. That's what the Lord is showing. Help that lady right now. I'm seeing it happen. I announce our victory if I be a servant of the Lord right now. May the earth open and swallow them. I speak it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Any man sitting on what belongs to you. Any man sitting on your glory, Jimmy, God is bringing a miracle for your sister. I'm seeing your sister. I'm seeing your face and I'm seeing her still flash. Is she here? come I didn't even know that she's here I'm seeing the Lord is saying he's bringing a miracle for her I'm seeing somebody clean footprints on the ground that's what I'm seeing you are moving and you are leaving footprints and the footprints I see flies all around it but I'm seeing someone cleaning cleaning it and the Lord is saying I should tell you remember not the former things not consider the things of old he says i should tell you behold i will do a new thing god will begin a strange walk in your life and it's going to surprise you a strange walk you have a desire for god you sincerely love god and let me tell you the desire is not a waste the same way your brother is loving god and being passionate look at me it's not about perfection it's about sincerity of motive the, the journey to self-perfection is unnecessary and exhausting what God requires is a sincere desire from you. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the anointing that will wipe the past of this lady's life, the past that beats you, I curse it by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus, may your conscience be purged by the blood. May the water of the word cleanse you. And may grace be supplied unto you. For a new dimension for a new level i release this grace upon you in the name of the lord jesus christ let's go to exodus 40 33 please exodus 40 33 we really have to be fast <sighs> exodus 40 33 moses wanted to once again experience the manifested presence of God but he could not see that presence find expression until his obedience was perfected complete let me tell you something half obedience is not obedience at all half obedience you must obey to the latter God is very meticulous about his instructions are we together now and so God kept watching as they attempted building it and then 40 verse 33 he says and he reared up the court round about the tabernacle and the altar and set up for the hanging of the court gate right read the last sentence if you have open there he says so moses finished the work he finished building according to pattern obeyed as instructed to the latter and something happened in the next verse 34 he says then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle the word glory is the Hebrew word kabod the essence the fullness the expression of all that makes a man what he is or whatever deity so when we say the glory of God the effulgence of his person right fill the temple 35 and Moses was not able to enter the tent of congregation 
because the cloud abode thereon and the glory of the Lord filled the temple when you are obedient you will see the glory of the Lord in your life in most remarkable ways you don't have to be a pastor to see the glory of God you don't have to be a man of God once you are kingdom compliant the sacrifice of complying with the principles of the kingdom then you are authorized to experience the glory you see you may not be able to see all of the clouds and all of that but the glory of God is made manifest in miracles strange testimonies dramatic operations of the hands of God that leaves you baffled everyone who sees you knows that this is by the finger of God that's somebody's testimony tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ grace to obey grace to obey you must cry for it complete obedience gives you access access to experiencing the glory number two the second key to experiencing the manifestation of God's glory is prayer prayer Matthew chapter 7 17 Matthew 17 verse 1 to 8 Matthew 17 Matthew 17 verse 1 to 8 this was the encounter that we call the transfiguration of Jesus we apologize for the inability of the media to switch for now please just bear with us I'm sure they are working on it and after six days listen Jesus taketh Peter James and John his brother and bringeth them up into a high mountain privately there are certain things in the kingdom that are not just for Christians listen I know we have this idea that yes God doesn't want to hide anything from us but you see the dispensation of spiritual realities is according to the degree to which the Spirit of God can trust you there are certain trust levels if you have not attained certain deep mysteries of the kingdom cannot be committed to you the Bible says that he was the one who called all the disciples but he took three and he says there is something I want to show you privately what did he show them privately a mystery the Bible says and was transfigured before them listen he went to the place of prayer and that transfiguration began and the Bible says his face did shine like the Sun and his raiment was as white as the light and behold there appeared unto them Moses and Elijah talking with him listen verse 4 he says then then answered Peter and said unto Jesus Lord it is good for us to be here if thou wilt let us make this and that and that and that you know and then he was just speaking and so on and so forth and then the Bible says verse 5 while he yet spoke Jesus was communicating with them in the place of prayer and he was trying to make an arrangement and the Bible says behold a bright cloud overshadowed them and then behold a voice spoke out of the cloud and said this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased hear ye him verse 6 he says and when the disciples heard it they fell on their face and they were much terrified it says and Jesus came and touched them and said arise and be not afraid and when they had lifted up their eyes they saw no man except Jesus only listen there is a dimension of the glory of God you will never experience until the ministry of prayer brings you there. you can do every Bible study you know to do you can read every concordance takes and so on and so forth there is a degree of open heavens the manifestation of the glory of God upon a man's life that is a direct answer to the ministry of prayer are we together now he spake a parable Luke 18 verse 1 unto them to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint he spake a parable by prayer 
I don't just need no God. Give me tea. Give me bread. That's just, that's petition. 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 Give me tea. Give me bread. That's petition. Hallelujah. The kind of prayer I'm talking about is the type that is said in the book of James. It's sexual. Fervent prayer of the righteous man. You see, let me tell you, there is nothing in your life that can substitute for the absence of a healthy life of prayer. No matter your word level, it will show. When a man does not have an altar that is alive, an altar of prayer, the first thing that disappears is discernment. Discernment is lack of discernment is spiritual blindness. What lack of discernment is to the realm of the spirit? That's what blindness is in the physical realm. The moment a man is close to the impulses of the activities of the spirit, there is no effectual. So things happen around our lives, and we we become victims. We become um, um, victims of the effects of things that happen, not the initiators of the same. The ministry of prayer it was on the strength of prayer that when satan spoke to peter jesus looked at him and said get thee behind me satan and he said peter satan desired by discernment he desired to sift you like wheat he said but i have what what was the antidote prayed for you not discuss with him i prayed for you peter something is wrong with your discernment you didn't even know when the holy ghost was speaking to you you just said i am the christ and the spirit took over your voice you didn't even know the difference he said i'll pray for you because that's what is wrong the absence of a healthy altar of prayer it has numbed your discerning ability there are many believers here and it's sad if you're a leader here and you're a pastor believe me if you don't pray you will your discernment will be dark and blocked one of the greatest advantages of walking in the spirit is access to feeling the impulses of the environment of the spirit the realm of the spirit is a real realm like the physical realm right when you get born again and you are filled with the holy ghost as you begin to pray the first thing that happens to you is an activation of the ability to interact with the atmosphere of the spirit it may start in dreams it may start in visions it could be dramatic but then your spirit listen to my message spiritual perception your impulses of the spirit right they be, you begin to pick signals there is danger uh -uh. god does not want me to go here he doesn't have to give you a reason lack of prayer has got a lot of catastrophe not all these things will just stroll around 30 minutes one hour you just throw back it's called the effectual fervent you don't add time to fervent. You add passion to it. And as far as your passion can drive you, that's the validity of the prayer time. It's not about saying I'll pray for 10 minutes or 5 hours or 8 hours. You will pray until the nothing of the spirit releases you. You are praying to burn things in the spirit, not for the formality of religion. The problem with the prayer ministry is that most people pray to feel spiritual and then maybe to intimidate themselves, their little group. So if I pray for 30 minutes, you add 30 minutes to it and it makes you look spiritual. No. When you are a spiritual man, there is always an object that drives you to the prayer part time. And as you pray, you keep checking the rewards of your victory as against the impulse and stop only when that victory is established. This is where we miss it. When Elijah prayed, was it just according to desire? he wanted an effect first time he prayed only god knows how long that was he said go and check there was no result what did he do again we stop we stop because it's two hours we use early time to gauge certain things you see the 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 things we are contending against sometimes will require time and certain dynamics of spiritual operation to produce victory so if you have this idea that because you are you want to pray you just sense god wants to speak to you and then you pray for 30 minutes or one hour and you feel i am okay you see you are using a wrong timing the same way if you pray for eight hours just blindly and religiously and think 
because you pray for eight hours it means you are making contact with the spirit no sir you pray according to the guidance of the spirit the spirit of god instructs you he navigates you your prayer there is a connection between a burden in the spirit and something in the realm of the spirit and you pray until there is a release when the servant came and said i've seen the sign elijah stopped at once he didn't say let me just continue since i've gone so far he stopped at once because prayer has a purpose once the purpose is achieved stop and move on in action brothers and sisters hear me especially for those who are workers those who are students those who are maybe business people and so on and so forth the the propensity for negligence in the place of prayer is very high are we together as a student you have lecture in the morning sometimes marathon lectures you are finishing in the evening you may have fellowship or you have certain things the truth is when you calculate it you find out that there's no time for quality prayer are we together now you see the most important thing about prayer is not necessarily praying eight, eight hours every day at your level you cannot pray eight hours every day you will be irresponsible in your activity the key is to maintain the fire and set periodic times when you compensate for the absence of the secret place. at least i expect everybody once a week you should be able to have some time when you can dedicate certain things and let me tell you in my life one of the biggest secrets of my prayer life is the mystery of night prayers i can tell you this ask any man that prays the night time is when men men gain crowns in the spirit Why do you think people die in the night when they sleep? Why do you think people's sicknesses and diseases amplify in the night? There are many mysteries we don't know in the body of Christ. Maximize your night time, especially for many of us here because we are young. Establish things in the night. Don't crash into trouble and then you are wondering what to do in the day. The daytime is for manifestation. We settle realities in the night. Believe me, it will not rob you of sleep. It's just a little sacrifice of prayer that will bring you tremendous power. I hear God clearly at night. There are times I go outside and I just sit down. Everyone has slept. I just sit down outside and I'm meditating. Many of us have been cheated in the night time. The devil has studied your spiritual life and he has seen your area of vulnerability. Let me tell you something. Do you know there is something called slumber? I hope you know it's a spirit. Uncontrolled passion for sleep. You are passionate about sleep. I'm not just talking of resting. You know, you are tired and you are resting. Some of us is a spirit. No matter how you plan to pray, once it's night, even if you slept from morning till that time, you are just going to thank the Lord. Lord, I bless you and snore your way to the morning. It's a spirit. If no one has told you, something is wrong with your destiny. Many politicians and businessmen, their time of meeting is in the night. Witches and wizards and demons that do all kinds of things. You take advantage of the mysteries in the spirit. There are times and seasons that grant you access by grace. You see, if you do not know these things if you do not know these things you will you will miss out on a lot of things why is it called the lord's supper not the lord's breakfast not the lord's lunch why was it done in the night because there was no time no it was a mystery i pray for every dead prayer life here or every prayer life that is need driven Father, I'm coming before you now. The other time you gave me 5,000. Listen, if you really want to be strong and gain power and open the heavens, your prayer must be effectual. The key to effectual prayer is praying in tongues. There is a place for praying in your understanding. But I'm telling you, if you want to make an effect, pray in the Spirit. For no man knows what is in the heart of a man said the spirit that is in that man so no man knows what is in the heart of god 
you don't just go around grumbling just praying sing one or two choruses which is good the key to prayer i'm telling you effectual prayer that builds you is praying in tongues spend time praying in tongues not just in english or in your language no there is a place for that pray in the spirit and please if you are here and you have not received the baptism of the holy spirit correctly and seriously i want you to know that there is something you are missing now i know i don't want to go into all the details our time is gone we come from different churches different ministries i know we have different ideas my goal of teaching this tonight is not to create controversy but i love you too much not to tell you the truth if you are not filled with the holy spirit i don't know what you have been taught about it we have teachings already there you can listen to it this is there is a need for you to say lord i need to upgrade it's not just about praying blah, 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 making noise no this is a spiritual language the bible calls it an instrument that helps our infirmities what is our infirmity the bible says we do not know what to pray for as we ought to but the spirit makes intercession are we together don't say i just love the lord i'm, I'm okay I'm, I'm fine honestly i don't want to complicate my spiritual life it's already complicated this world we live is very complicated the ministry of prayer is what will straighten that crooked path he said elijah was a man of like passion like us he said he prayed earnestly that there would be no rain for a space of three and a half years elijah locked the heavens and put the key in his pocket he said the, the heavens will not be open except at my word not the word of any man of god that is sealed us these are men who took territories they 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 taught the heavens open one time he was up the mountain some enemies came you see that a man of prayer let me tell you if you're a man of prayer and any man goes to any shrine to concoct nonsense oh come on ask the prophets of Baal what happened to them the Bible says they kept calling on Baal for money. Elijah said, maybe he's sleeping, wake him. You know why many Christians are weak in the body of Christ? We love comfort to a fault. And, and we men of God are the ones who have destroyed people. I believe in prosperity, you know that. I believe in the blessings of God. But brothers and sisters, let me tell you, there is the sacrifice you must make for your destiny. The sacrifice of prayer. It's not all about having CDs. There are giants on every mountain. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? There are giants on every mountain. You are a pastor. You are not praying. You just share a revelation and you are happy. You believe you come on stage. No prayer. No periodic fasting. No strength. You just want to speak and let things happen. Do you think God is a herbalist? No. God is not a herbalist. Please, if you are a pastor here, pay attention to what I'm telling you except you want to joke around with your members or you are ready for empty pews the generation we are in now members are not ready to waste their time for nonsense again once they come and sit down and you are wasting their time they will get up and they will leave no matter how you pray pour one gallon of oil on your head we need power it takes prayer to access open heavens are we together we add drama in churches for two hours and then when he's about to pray they say everybody bow your head as if we are mourning somebody just recites a prayer request for 10 minutes we say okay thank you jesus for answering prayer and people get up and that's why we keep getting weaker and weaker no discernment spiritual things are flying around your territory nobody has the eyes to see and the ears to hear until it happens and everybody is confused May that be, not be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Three enemies of prayer. Number one, excess food. Excess food. There is a name for it. It's called gluttony. Believe me, if you take what I'm telling you, your prayer life will step into another dimension. Am I saying you should not eat? No, not at all. Excess food. Gluttony. There is a connection between food and the flesh. Number two, excess sleep. Excess sleep. The second enemy of prayer. Excess sleep. Number three, the third enemy of prayer, worry. Worry. 
worry is a spirit that's why the first assignment of worry is to bring you to a point of depression have you seen people with worry i don't mean people who are just thinking real worry they can't even talk ah uh -uh, are you doing well they just keep quiet because satan's goal is to shut your mouth he knows that there is power that is released if you open your mouth he says my heart is indicting a good matter yea i speak of excellent things he said my tongue is the pen of a ready writer psalms 45 1 and 2 my tongue is the pen of a ready writer men ought always to pray brothers and sisters pray turn and tell your neighbor pray say pray again say pray again say pray in the night yeah pray in the night you will you will command tremendous power there were times in zaria most of the people here will tell you night time was the time people build strength ah come on you would see all kinds of strategies of prayer strategies but well god is helping us i'm just i'm just challenging you brothers and sisters please hear me if you are married husband and wife pray a praying husband and wife is a staying husband and wife a lazy husband and wife is a divorced family already it's a matter of time because every spirit the devil will move across families and he will come like the angel of death pass through every city but when he got to Goshen, he came he saw that he saw that there was a fortification what fortification have you put around your life Job chapter 1 when satan went before god what happened he met a man who made oblations for his children it was a similitude of prayer and satan said i came but i could not access him have you not built an hedge around him satan is a prayerless christian is a powerless christian beauty and glory of god comes upon your life when you pray don't put prayer as an instrument of crashing this is the problem some of us pray but the entire scope of our prayer is god give me are you not seeing give me and we try to manipulate god and bend his hand that's why he gave it the blessings of praying in the spirit pray in the spirit stretch in the spirit you can put worship songs your earphone or something to create the atmosphere pray in the spirit even if you cannot pray in the night early hours of the morning why not put a little worship song charge your spirit sing one or two songs blast every mountain before you in tongues and walk out in the day and you become a living miracle you are walking with the heavens open and what looks miraculous for others becomes your atmosphere men will sit down and plot evil you will walk on it as if satan does not exist ah those are the people who will not be affected by the arrows that fly by day not the noisome pestilence there are people who will be affected you are a christian but you will still be affected but there are those who are immune i pity the native doctor that calls my name in any time it's not just that it, if all that happens is that it does not work i'm still cheated for calling my name that charm and the native doctor was born to ashes when elijah finished proving his point he said no 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 no. if we stop here that's not all go and meet those prophets kill every one of them as a testament that you don't try god the devil has mocked some of our lives and we are just watching running for counseling and discussing some of you this night you will lock your door and say i'm offering my phone lord it must change families don't pray they discuss they call people to come and gossip but they never pray we meet people for counseling we go and meet babalao we go and meet all kinds of people but we never pray we pray as a last resort oh god i come to you you too you have seen what we have done we have made all of our efforts whereas we should come before god there was a king in the bible who died because he didn't seek god it was a taboo to seek other things when you have problems we depend on uncles if i talk to my uncle he will do this let me tell you never take action on anything until you have prayed about it especially major decisions in your life 
no matter how convinced you are pray because there is a way that cement right unto a man but the bible says the end thereof i can't tell you how many things i wanted to do plans i had physically speaking they look fabulous but when i went to the place of prayer there are many things we wanted to do as a ministry i would discuss in our leaders meeting oh we are going to do a and b i will go back to god it is silent i come back they know already the moment i say we'll do a thing and i'm silent about it they know god does do you have the courage to keep quiet if god is silent do you have the courage to stand still if god is not moving if the cloud did not move they did not move if it stood still stand still the true benefit of prayer not this thing people do just for spirituality just to show that i'm a man of prayer people bend and deceive themselves to show they are praying that's not a sign of prayer that's nonsense those are the kinds of things that make god look like an idiot prayer is serious business and it commands victory say i receive grace to pray say it again i receive grace to pray grace to pray take charge of your atmosphere there are giants on every mountain if they didn't spare jesus they will not spare you i guarantee you make no mistake do not think they will not come for your business or your family or your children you have the testimony of our dear mother do not think they would they would the devil will attack anything that can be attacked if it does not happen it's coming i guarantee you in the name of the lord the bible says after the temptation he left jesus for a season for a season he came through peter jesus detected him he said ah you caught me the next time he came through judas the son of perdition jesus allowed it to be so that scriptures will be fulfilled not because he was not ready to overcome from the heavens and the earth will hear all speak from your throne and i'll hear from the earth my altar is calling you oh god my prayer is calling you oh god Oh, speak from the heavens, and I'll hear you from the earth. Oh, speak from your throne, and I'll hear you from the earth. For my altar is calling you, oh God. My secret place is calling you. Oh God, take my praise. Oh God, take my praise. Do you have an altar that calls it? Do you have a secret place that calls it? When there are men who seek your flesh. And they are invoking upon altars is there an altar that answers or are you just loitering around hoping that life will work men have died because they did not have altars let me tell you please play no games i'm not scaring you lady don't think you will just get married because you are beautiful take back your priestly robe tonight and go back to the place of prayer there is an effectual fervent prayer there are many brothers you will not just be established because you are a graduate there are giants on every mountain. A man can look at you with his sad spirit and vow that you will not move forward. It takes prayer to move mountains. By the grace of God, this ministry is moving as if the devil does not exist. It's not because the devil does not want to destroy this ministry. There is a mystery. There are, there are mysteries like cornerstones that we have found and put around the boundaries of this ministry. Number three, the third key to carrying and releasing the glory and the manifest presence of God is worship. The last scripture and then we'll continue next week during the miracle service. Second Chronicles chapter 5, we'll read verse 13 and 14, just two verses. Very interesting, this was the dedication of the temple when Solomon 
had built the temple there was a sacrifice upon the altar and he was about to dedicate the temple hallelujah second chronicles 13 and 14 it came to pass listen as the trumpeters and singers were what as one making one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the lord and when they lifted up their voice with trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praised the lord saying for his good for his mercy and joy forever that what then the house was filled with the the cloud filled the whole house right the next verse so that the priests could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud for the glory of the lord had filled the house listen in 2005 i conducted a personal research jewish worship and the mystery of god's presence i was obsessed i wanted to know what the secret was how will a man just step into a place and the atmosphere just changes physically as if he carries a dimension of glory i wanted to find out because i saw this happen in the lives of the jews i saw this happen to people who were associated to the jews like benihim and so on and so forth they would just sing and worship and before you know it the glory will fill the place so i wish we had time we'll take it from here next week but brothers and sisters worship is a mystery that compels the presence of god to be made manifest worship is a mystery the third key to activating the manifested presence of god here and now in a place worship it's not enough to just be obedient as powerful as prayer is there is a dimension many of us are missing in our spiritual life worship the bible says in psalm 100 it says that we enter his gates with thanksgiving then it says and his courts with praise he said come before him with singing the protocol to meeting him is song singing come before him it has nothing to do with the quality of your voice it has nothing to do with your music proficiency although that's an added advantage however you cannot give an excuse that because i cannot sing i cannot raise songs and incense of worship unto god next week i'm going to be teaching us the protocol of acceptable worship not every kind of worship is acceptable the proof that your worship is acceptable is that his glory responds to it i'll share with us the mystery of cain and abel a type of the man of the spirit and the man of the flesh the bible says both of them they came and they offered sacrifices of worship right and abel gave of his firstlings and his fatlings and cain just gave up the vegetables and all of that and then the bible says how that the sacrifice of abel rose up to the heavens and that of cain did not rise up and cain killed abel when god met cain he said where is you know where is abel he said am i my brother's keeper and then he began to challenge him and he said that if he did what was right paraphrasing would his sacrifice not be accepted sacrifice of worship is not just about singing there is a protocol that leads to acceptable worship the first key to acceptable worship is found in romans chapter 12 from verse 1 i beseech thee brethren by the message of god that ye offer your bodies that's the first key that ye offer your bodies not your songs not your voice not your offering not your oblations not the lifting up of your hands like the morning sacrifice above and beyond that there is a protocol there is a system that must precede your songs he says your body must become a prototype of what you want to offer with your lips and then hebrews 13 gives us a picture 
of the fact that worship and praise is sacrificial so the first is there must be death we we'll explain that the second is that it must be a sacrifice it says let us offer unto God the sacrifice of praise which are the calves of our lips he calls your sacrifice the calf of your lips in the similitude of that which was done in ancient times in the temple he says when you worship God it is in the similitude of the killing of bulls and rams he says offer the calves of your lips a sacrifice that is acceptable unto him hallelujah that's why we took our time to worship and as we began to worship God began to respond and touch people the spirit of prophecy came upon us and we began to minister three short things that I've given you tonight that control the manifestation of God's glory you can't argue it they are not they are not they are not opinions they are the spiritual formula for accessing the glory of God number one obedience number two a, a consistent life of effectual prayer hallelujah number three the incense of worship oh let my praise rise before you the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice these are all mysteries the mystery of the lifting up of hands the mystery of repetition as you sing you see a lot of people sing it the Jews used to sing songs one line they would sing it for hours just like you see many people in many religions it's, it's not an enchantment there is something they do the mystery of repetition you see that happen in the songs that the psalmist wrote their response will be for hallelujah thank you praise the lord for he is good and his mercies endure forever or for his mercy shall endure ever faithful ever sure and so he will say a lot of things and then they will keep responding listen they didn't write songs as musicians they wrote songs as spiritual men they didn't have that skill to compose songs it was as it was delivered to them it was delivered in a particular way that if they sang it it will make god respond in a particular way for instance that formula you are good and your mercy endures forever you know i've studied it i found out that every time the nation of israel wanted deliverance that was the song they sang it had to be that line they invoked the goodness and the mercy of god two things that we quote every sunday they are following us and we never see it because we don't believe them the goodness of god and the mercy of god it was the goodness of god that passed before moses i will let my goodness a dimension of my glory called my goodness pass and then his mercy he says for it is of the lord's mercy that we are not consumed hallelujah we're going to rise and pray just for a few minutes and say lord i want to see your glory in my life i'm tired of just being a christian coming to church i want to begin to walk in the glory of god lift your hands and begin to pray hallelujah lift your hands and pray father i desire to see the glory the manifest presence of god in my life can you pray please go ahead Kainonia, are you praying? I desire to see your glory in my life. Lord, I'm tired of a barren Christian life. I receive that grace. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. I want to see your glory revealed in my life. Let the eyes of the blind be opened through my hands. Let the cares of the death be unstopped. Let my life represent breakthroughs, signs, wonders, miracles. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one.
pray for unusual obedience lift your voice and pray grace 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 for unusual obedience those outside make sure you are praying Grace for unusual obedience Hallelujah Hallelujah Number two Please I like you to pray If your prayer life is dead On its way to death Don't feel condemned Don't feel embarrassed But I like you to pray And say Lord bring it back alive My prayer life At every level you can move higher Lift your voice and pray The fervent and effectual prayer Of the righteous Are very much Make sure you are praying. Lord, I'm tired of lack of discernment in my life. I'm tired of acting carnally. I'm tired of acting just by my sensory impulses. I pray my way to divine secrets. I pray my way to divine strategies I pray my way to divine secrets Hallelujah Hallelujah Let's add one more prayer under the area of prayer You are going to pray Many of us see things and hear things but there is no grace access to understanding so there are so many things god is showing us but we are deaf of understanding so we do not have the grace to interpret or to interpret correctly lift your voice and cry say grace to understand he said understand that what thou readest is one thing to see is one thing to have a dream is one thing to hear god speak but it's another thing to understand the working knowledge of the revelations you have received you need it for your marriage you need it for your ministry you need it for your job you need it to know where god wants you to be part time understanding understanding lord i'll not just have dreams i receive understanding i'll not just hear your voice i receive interpretations accurate unemotional interpretations of spiritual reality <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah last prayer point lord teach me the art of worship worship in a way that can bring your presence to abide and remain in my life lift your voice give me songs from heaven give me songs in the night melodies of the spirit let me hear the songs of angels let me hear the sound of the spirit give me the songs for every season the songs to sing my way into the glory to sing my way into breakthrough to sing my way into healings and miracles to sing my way into prophecy grace to sing the songs of the spirit hallelujah hallelujah next week i'll teach you briefly before i begin to minister during the miracle service listen pay attention to the songs that god brings in your life seasonally there are times the spirit is the one who recommends the song you will use in your worship stay there don't be rebellious those songs have authority upon them to bring a dimension of breakthrough in the last maybe three months the lord speaks to me through songs I have i have gotten so many songs are we together now pay attention music is one of the languages in the spirit 
you must pay attention to the impulses the sounds sometimes it could just be the line of a song you are glorious so glorious in your way that's what lands upon your spirit don't just guess your song and say the song is not in my tribe no there is authority in that song it's like a sword it's an instrument of warfare you keep singing it sometimes for hours are we together now yeah that's how i get see let me tell you i can give you testimonies of personal breakthroughs in my life as a result of certain songs so glorious in your way no other song will do you just keep singing it you get up in the morning and that's the only song you hear my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by that may be a song in your spirit you may just receive it god is telling you i'm coming too for you but you see the problem is many of us do not know you are supposed to take it don't stop singing it that's your instrument that's a pass in the spirit but we drop it and then raise all kinds of choruses in our languages and we're just singing and dancing and god is saying no there is acceptable worship are we together there are times you see us in koinonia here two weeks three weeks when i come up stage or the worship team we keep repeating certain songs there is authority upon the songs we stretch them until the grace that they came with from heaven is delivered unto the people then the songs will rest pay attention to songs everyone can receive songs whether you're a musician or not it's a product of alignment not just musical accuracy you can edit it but you can receive a song hold on to it and sing your way to an ending breakthrough it was the playing of the string that casted out demons right from david there was a sound that the spirits heard he said there is as it were many voices and none of them is without effect your worship is an incense it's a language that calls the presence of god lift your hands and let me pray for you in the name that is above all names let everyone represented here begin to walk in dramatic signs and wonders in the name of jesus christ the barrenness in your christian life that makes your revelations mock you because there is no grace for performance i command it to come to an end right now in the name of jesus christ that for every dimension of spiritual reality you communicate there will be grace to demonstrate its validity here and now in the name of jesus christ i pray for you everywhere you have tried to activate the operation of the word and have not gotten results go back now and see the strength of the almighty god upon your life in the name of jesus christ where you laid hands on the sick and nothing seemed to happen i empower your hands you go back and you will watch dramatic miracles in the name of jesus hear me the supernatural dimension in your life must be clearly made manifest for the world to listen to you they are not waiting for the explanation of the sons of god they are tired of noise there must be something supernatural you must desire the operation of the spirit to be activated in your life you must covet energy and desire it that lord my life will become a host to your glory that it will be a privilege for people to receive me because they know as they receive me they give space for the glory they will bless you someone sows into your life and gets a, a million fold return do you think you will sow again yes because he's sowing in the glory you pray for somebody and ripple effects of unending testimony it will motivate you but if the only thing that consoles you spiritually is that maybe you are understanding bible or you are going to heaven your spiritual life is barren hallelujah may you begin to command undeniable results i pray for you everybody connected to this ministry and all those listening online the thousands of people we have all across the world i minister to you by the anointing of the spirit may you begin to be commanders of miracles
strange results in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray for you, whatever you lay your hands on, I don't know what you are trusting God for, but I'm praying that between now and next Friday, some of you before Friday, your requests will be answered in the name of Jesus Christ. Please believe me when I pray for you. I say it again, there are many of you between now, between now and Friday, the testimony you are waiting for, you have prayed, you have fasted. I don't know how it will come, but may the God I serve make it happen for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift your hands and give Him glory. Please keep standing. We are almost done. By the grace of God, next week is our miracle service. Please listen. Now, I want to see how by His grace, we will have an extensive time to really, really minister to the needs of people. Sometimes we come, we are constrained with time. I want to see how we can really minister to people. Please invite all your friends and your loved ones. It's going to be fire in this place on Friday. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's going to be fire. Write your request. Everything that has made you cry, bring it before the God of heaven. Let's flog it out here on Friday. And the devil must bow. He must give you to your life. And please make sure that your loved ones, those who cannot come, please come with something as a point of contact for them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you're worshiping with us for the first time, wherever you are, while standing, please, I'd like you to make your way to the front. We want to bless you. This is Koinonia. Inside and outside, first time worshippers, God bless you. Honor them, Koinonia. Please keep standing, everyone. We'll be out of here in a few minutes. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Can we honor them? Can we celebrate them? There are a number of them coming from outside. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Can you keep clapping? May God bless all of you who brought them. May God bless all of you who traveled from so far. You will never be the same. Never be the same in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, um, gentlemen and ladies, for coming. This is Koinonia. We are here every Friday. It's a meeting put together by Eternity Network International. We thank you for coming. I have one guarantee that your life will never be the same. I assure you, your life will never be the same. You will go back and you'll be amazed to see the changes in your life. Remarkable manifestations of the Spirit. Especially for those of you who traveled from far. Some of you are pastors. Some of you are leaders. Some of you just love the Lord. You came. Others were invited. May the Lord bless you. We are here every Friday. Next week Friday is our miracle service. You can come prepared. Invite your friends and loved ones. 5.30 we are here. The Lord is going to be doing great and awesome things. We love you and we thank you. There is a grace upon this house we want to release upon you. I want you to receive it with all your heart. Let's stretch our heads towards them. Father bless them. Prophesy over their lives. We pray for your spiritual lives. You are stepping into unusual levels of progress in the spirit accuracy of understanding access to the mysteries of the kingdom powerful prayer life fresh grace for the journey we pray for the works of your hands your job your school your business whatever it is that you do may the hand of god come upon you you will prosper on all sides we call for favor into your life in the name of jesus may the presence of god mantle you and go with you and open strange doors for you in the name of Jesus. I bless you in the name of Jesus. May the hand of the Lord rest upon you. You will go and return with strange testimonies. The challenges that you came here with, they drop here and they never return with you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Once again, I'll just ask.